Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today I'm just gonna be loading up some warriors and clearing my map. Now, I made a video a few days ago about how I think that the Bombardier Heavy combination is better than Warriors, but I've always enjoyed coming back to Warriors because it's the troop I started with, you know? I remember back in the day watching people like Nick at Night and Ben Tim, they would clear their map using Smoky Warriors, and at that point, I wasn't a gymmer. I, don't, I wouldn't consider myself a gymmer now, but at that point in time, I didn't have smoke, so I would watch these players using warriors with smoke and uh, I wouldn't have smoke but I would watch them so I could understand how do you smoke as soon as I get smoke unlocked and I assume a lot of you guys are in the same boat and um, you'll get there you'll get there at that point in time though I also would use warriors just without smoke and that was not the move because warriors without smoke is nothing like warriors with smoke the combination changes so so drastically so that was honestly a tough base the reason i remember now the reason i went to bombardier's heavies is because all of these players have this hq health boost which makes it even harder this is a really good base uh this shock back here is going to be really tough but i think we can beat it and i'll show you how so i'm going to grab taunt i feel like taunt is going to help me more in this scenario We'll find that player. I'm going to try to beat it on boosted. I really think I can. This guy has a ton of loot. It'll get me like a million stone. So that will be super nice. 700,000 iron. That is going to be so nice. But we have to beat it first. And that's going to be the hard part. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to avoid all the mines going a different route this time than last time. I really have to watch out though because... I don't want to waste all my energy on smoke. Okay, and we'll flare to this shock launcher. Good. We'll group up there, wait for my hero to get a little closer. And I'll, I think I'll need two smokes to this walk. I'll just do two, that way my hero is hidden. Dang, I lost so many troops at that point, but I activated my taunt. Uh, that will distract a bunch of these defenses, but I will still have to shock this back shock launcher. There we go. And I'm going to shock the other shock launcher because I think it would hit my troops otherwise. Okay, we got a... Uh, oh gosh. Probably should have saved the energy for another taunt, but I think we'll be able to do this. Come on, just a little bit more. <laughs> oh my gosh, not quite, not quite. But I think we can do this. I really believe that my warriors can pull this off. None of these tribe boosts can help me. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. I think I need to readjust my walk up because I lost a lot of troops on the walk up. That's for sure. So I'm also going to take down that clump of two mines that really hurt me. Adjusting the place where I dropped my troops and adjusting my flare. Never want to flare to a building that far or, or this far back. So I'm going to be a little more careful here. Uh, once I get closer, I'll drop that reflare, and then I'll just do this. So I'm going to try not to... Uh, oh gosh, I'm going to peek off the top. Yeah, I'm going to lose a lot of troops. I'm not going to win this one. Uh, okay, this will give me a chance to see that shock placement. So I'm not going to win, so I don't really care that much. But the shock launcher here, no matter how I'm placing bullet taunt, it's going to fire at taunt, or it's going to fire at bullet, and I'm going to lose my my uh, troops to that shock launcher. Like, the shock launcher will hit my troops even though it's targeting bullets. So that's what I can't have, and that's what I have to try to fix. So this is a tough base, a very good anti-warrior base design. So we'll take out that mine again. We'll take out these mines again. I need to think of a better walk up because what I did last time was worse than the first time. Okay, I think I have a path to do this. I'm also going to make sure I don't waste energy. Oh my gosh, why are my troops splitting like this? It literally was on the other side. Okay, it's fine. They're in a clump now. That's exactly what I need. Okay, we'll go there, get that flare down. A little less energy than the first time I attacked. We're going to get a med kit down, because probably about one boat of my warriors is... Uh, needing health otherwise i'll lose them when i come to these mines perfectly placed flamethrower just beautifully placed 
So I activate a taunt. I'm getting the shock ready. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. That was literally so early. Okay, we shocked the other one though. I have more troops than the first time I attacked. I don't know if this is gonna be a win. Yeah, this isn't gonna be a win. Dang it, you know, I really think I would have beat it if. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was gonna say if I shocked the shock launcher on time, but I cannot believe we just pulled out that win. <laughs> this is one of the harder bases I've ever attacked on Boosted. Let's watch a replay because I want to show you what happened. If you didn't catch it, it was an insane ending. First of all, how awful is that placement there? You know, I, if you look straight up in a line, I'm turning my phone so I can see better. This was the right move for my warriors to split, like go right on this armory. But I was trying to get them going left. They took the better path because we avoided this mine here. But still, I I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. We get there. We flare to the core. Good. So far, it's been okay. So I shocked the shock launcher way too early. Put it in times one until the very end. My troops are barely dealing damage. There's like 300,000 HP on this core. Taunt is uh, bringing or, or targeting all of these flamethrowers. You know, the shock launcher, I need to keep shocked anyway. But it's literally taking away... The vast majority of this flash damage so beautifully done by by bullet there bullet dies so now everything is targeting my troops put in times one half and then look at this look at this so my troops are dealing damage i have like six left now i have zero left now zero left no no troops left but one there's one up here on the top that has pretty much no hp and there's a machine gun already targeting him. Actually, there might be like one more down there still alive. But there's a machine gun literally targeting him. That far away, like the machine gun shots are pretty random. But still, with that low HP, if any of those bullets hit, he's dead. So none of these bullets are hitting. And then he takes one more hit. Everything hits him. And we take down the base. Unbelievable. I've never seen such a close battle before and i've been playing boom beach for seven and a half years so <laughs> i am just i am so stoked i'm that's crazy okay i'm so glad we got the win there because that base was kind of getting on my nerves if i'm being honest okay this base will be really nice because bullet will sit between the shock launchers and uh in their blind zone and i'll activate taunt so the shock launchers are just going to be wiped out they're not going to be able to do anything Pretty much half the drop shocks around them anyway, but yeah, you can see that the shock launchers can't fire. It's because they're trying to hit bullet, but bullet is in their blind zone. So taunt is really, really good when it comes to those different scenarios. I, I, I still can't believe the last base. I'm so happy we took that down on boosted. Okay. You know, I think we, oh, it's my iron. Oh, frick. Make sure you guys are using code cosmic. Yeah, my iron is super low. Uh, yeah, we'll do a couple more attacks. I need to get iron though. Iron is definitely the hardest resource to get right now. Okay, this one will be pretty easy, I think. Still using taunt, I don't really know why. I think different combination would, would be better. Troops are following a nice lineup. If, yeah, if you need an anti-warrior base, pick that guy a couple bases to go. I mean, granted, I did take him down on Boosted, but he didn't really have any prototypes as far as I know. I mean, he did have the the health boost from the tribes, but that doesn't really mean anything, you know? Uh, but, and I would be able to take him down super, super easily if he didn't have that. I mean, that's 70,000 HP. That's a third more, pretty much. So... Or maybe it's 25% more, but still, like, <laughs> it would be a lot easier if he didn't have that. So, I don't really know, like, how strong of a base it was, because there are some hard bases i come across, and I I've come across since we've had this tried boost. So, that was one of them, 
But that was definitely the closest battle I've ever had. I'm so happy we pulled out that win. Literally the last hit from his hammer. Crazy, crazy. And also it made it better because the guy literally had like 5 million loot. I've, I mean, I've seen that much loot before, but it's always, it's been a while since I've collected that much loot from a single player. Okay, another window, level 71 drops. Yeah, iron is definitely the issue right now. By the way, I think next video, I'll hop on my starting over account. You guys have been wanting some starting over account gameplay, and I feel bad because I've been focusing on this account so much. I haven't made any videos on my little low level starting over account. I'm just destroying some black card bases. I just wanna see if we can get this upgrade started. Uh, we have to finish this one first, right? I think this is my last, yeah, I can. This is my last cannon, by the way. So after this is done, I'll have max flame, uh, no, not flamethrowers. I'll have max sniper towers, max boom cannons, maxed rocket launchers, maxed shock launchers, and max cannons. Really, all I have left, this, this, this. Mortars, machine guns, flamethrowers, and then of course I have like my residences and my storages. That is not super important, but I do have to do those upgrades. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please drop a like if you did, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.